아! 이어나라이팅투더포에버걸그룹에스파앤데어타이틀트랙스파이시오프더2023앨범마이월드디스뮤직비디오테이크스플레이스인더리얼월드웨어에스트레인지페노미논해펜스바에스파디사이드투이그노
a higher vocal. Huh? Oh! It's somehow nostalgic. When that four kicks in, I'm just like, oh. Oh. Woo! It's cool. Oh, it's not done. Oh, thank you. I love her voice, the one in green. <laughs> to drink water milk my look my tongue is actually in pain mine was burning a bit does it have to give me hiccups i think those are gone now i, like I think that's my favorite espa like title track so what? far wow yeah like all the other ones you know they might be more interesting they might be more radical but it's almost like they're settling a little bit instead of like doing the style changes every time they're staying with the same style, but with this song, they call back to their next level. There's definitely call callbacks musically and lyrically to next level. Um, but I think this is like next level 2.0. Nothing that happens in this song is like, like reinvents music for me, but I feel like everything's in the right spot in a way that I just think, oh yeah, it's supposed to be there and I welcome it. Yeah, there's, there's just not, not as, there's not that much to say, but to quote Radiohead, everything in its right place. Yeah, it was very like playful, but also really harsh and like in your face, obviously. <laughs> like the fucking, like the <laughs> like <laughs> right at the beginning. Like, continue. Gravelly. Yeah, and I think having like a really, like a bass with a lot of texture to it Again, is nice. Like that was, I think that was something that made a really strong start with Black Mamba, the original. I really like all the weird sound design in Savage, but it does have, it's a little bit thinner on some of the basses. And I like the big textured bass in this. It's a little less just like a sign or very minimally fattened sign under stuff. So I, I think that's a really nice part of Espa to, to bring back. The bass sound was like, somehow, have you ever gone by a fence and you're running by it and you hit your hand to the side and it, yeah, or, or you have something like that? Somehow they managed to have the feeling of that sound meshed with like a super growly bass and I loved it. I don't know how they, how they made that sound, but it was great. What's that tool that you, uh, you used to cut grass? Mow, mow, lawnmower? <laughs> mow, lawnmower? <laughs> I don't know. La lawnmower? Lawnmower. I, I don't know the English. Yep. Yeah, lawnmower. And it's... Yeah, and then and maybe you stuck on one grass or stuck on one object. It's like... <laughs> and I really liked the ostinato they used with it too. And I think like the way that it persisted through the whole song and it kept coming back even at the end really made it feel like stubborn which i feel like that's what makes the best ostinato because it needs to be like oh my gosh like it's still going like we like it needs to feel like you're being dragged along that was the vibe of the song mm -hmm. it's part of the vibe of the was i'm i get that i'm too much i'm spicy i'm not like the other girls i am a baddie bad Right. And just as the song ended, you said that you were tired. Was it because, like, you've been just, like, blasting? Yeah, okay, so that's the other thing. That synth, whatever they were using for the, like, the meat of it, the bass kind of thing, too, it's exhausting. Like, mm -hmm. it's really fatiguing. There was no let up, and it was like, okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, I imagine it would be cool live for a little bit, uh, but if you didn't have earplugs, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when it comes to an Espa comeback, you can always expect a awesome sounding bass line yeah. and like the texture of the synth. That was definitely something that I loved listening to. 
And I thought I would get tired of it if it kept going on throughout the entire track, but I felt like they varied it up enough rhythmically and sonically with like, depending on the amount of like layers going on that accompany it. Yeah. So I didn't get tired of it. Yeah, and also like it changes the line sometimes. Like, I feel like this was a danger. You should probably not have that open on there. That was a danger with Lex level, it's like, it's so much of... Uh, so much of the time where this one, it feels like it's a more varied line, mm -hmm. even if it's a lot of kind of similar synths. Mm -hmm. I do like when they kind of took a break from the ostinato, like, because that did kind of make you, you almost like craved it a little bit. You're like, where did it go? Where did she go? Mm. I become acquainted with her. I become acquainted with her presence, and she's gone now. This has triggered my abandonment issues. Just kidding. But that's what it's kind of like, and I think that's what also makes it good, because they're like, it kind of goes away for a little bit, like at two. What is this? Like two seventeen. But then, like the last, like I like three minutes, they bring back that ripping deep heavy metal bass line. Ostinato that they took a break from for a little bit and you're kind of like almost relieved a little bit even though it sounds kind of Loud and crusty. You're like, oh, okay. We know her. She's back. She's okay <laughs> She's a little loud and crusty <laughs> <laughs> But she's a little loud and crusty so funny. <laughs> No, you know what? I totally understand what you're saying based on the energy of this song I do get it that the Ostinato you actually want to hear it again because it's empowering. Yeah, I get it now yeah. Oh yeah, the freaking marching singer stuff was really cool. I I agree. Like you never hear you never hear, you never hear like the it. rims. So yeah, in it you can you can hear them using, um, like oh, well this this doesn't have a rim, but like you can <laughs> close it's enough. Close. Yeah, close <laughs> enough is like you can you can hear them hitting the rim of the drum, which does happen a lot in marching, like marching snare drum. There's a lot of a lot of times there's like rim things that you play and you can hear it. And you, you can also hear like stick clicks and like yeah. a bunch of other like really cool. Cool sounds, just so it makes it a little bit less uh, in your face and like... Make it straight closer for the camera. Wow. Wow. Wow, Liam. <laughs> I like this like little like, it sounds like they're almost doing like a trash can drum routine in the background. It's a marching snare, yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of, I just imagined somebody banging on a trash can. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot of like, like drill sounds too. So I think some of the instrumentation going on um, highlights that there is a phenomenon happening outside in the world and they're kind of like ignoring some of those like drill sounds and like just still going with their thing because there's a lot of like real world sound things going on in it so it's just kind of giving me this vibe of like there's something trying to push in but it's it, they're not allowing it to push in on their world yeah that's a that tritone is spicy. Yeah, that kind of caught me off guard too. Yeah. A good or a bad caught off guard? I'll say a good. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was really interesting. Yeah. That's the, definitely the number one thing that comes to mind mm. about this song. Because they resolved. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that like post chorus was, wasn't bad at all. That, like when it like the chords changed, <laughs> we got a little more harmonic action. That was cool. And the um, the melody, yeah, when it goes back into that second time, it was like, ooh, okay, nice. But yeah, so we go from so like a lot of E minor with that occasional uh, sharp four, and then. Finally feels like we've like landed in a summer song. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this is true. Up, like this is up. this is like Espa's first like explicitly summery song. Mm. Like Andrew's moving to the major four is like a very much a turn. A, wow, much a turn. Uh, a turn toward a much brighter tonal area. It's such a minor song. <laughs> and then what? <laughs> <laughs> it's such a minor song, and then all of a sudden. 
you have like a melodic or like harmonic mixture. No. Like I feel like that doesn't happen as much in Western pop. No. You know, like that's like <laughs> all that modal mixture is super K poppy. Yeah, that A major chord is so intentional. It's like they knew exactly the type of effect that it was going to have and I would not have expected it to like just brighten my day so much, but it truly did. I don't know what Espa's doing with their major chords, but they all make me happy. Yeah! But it's not like meant to be happy as in jolly and fun of and course. carefree. Yes. But it, it just, it's got this perfect mesh that, that buzzes in a very nice way that minor chords don't quite do. I mean, minor is great and, and we all love our minor, our great minor tunes, but something about a, just a beautiful, in tune major chord is fantastic. And I loved it. I like the, the, the leap, the, the jump is like really... Spicy. No, not that far. It's like uh, that, this part. All oh, same, so same, good. same. Yeah, why is that so catchy? Yeah, because I feel like, I feel like all, all, all major leaps are all catchy. Like you can remember that. Especially that they repeat it again. But they change the note, right? Yeah. 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 It's right. like a minor six to a major six. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Every time they bring up the word spicy, they actually do something spicy to the music. Like even the major mold mixture, which I don't consider a spicy thing, I actually consider it a slightly generic thing. But in this case, it somehow works. It's like a bright, sweet, sweet spicy. It's like a, it's like a, it's perfect. It's like, like a sweet chili. All the harmonies are, are really open and kind of um, empty sounding. Like this, for example. It's because there's no... No third. It's in the bass. Yeah. The minor third, but in the vocal but it's, but arrangement... Like, it's but really how it empty. sounds is... Like the voicing makes it sound kind of empty because there's so much space it, in between. It is a kind of aloof yeah. <laughs> texture. I don't mind yeah, it, actually. It's like I think empty, it kind of works yeah. for the vibe cold, unfeeling, <laughs> trying to ignore whatever the fuck is going on. Yeah. I think it like the sparseness of it enhanced mm -hmm. yeah. the effect of when mm -hmm. the harmonies came in. Mm. It's funny, especially like the vocal harmonies. If we're ranking this song on the Scoville scale of spiciness, Wait. What is the Scoville scale? The Scoville I, know, sc I know it's how spicy something yeah, 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 is, yeah. but what are the units? Does it start at a thousand? Or zero. It... it starts at zero. I don't know what this means. It starts at zero. What's the hottest? The hottest is 1,400,000 Carolina Reaper. Oh. Oh, so why don't we just name a pepper? Like... Like a bell pepper? Like... That's zero! Like... Not spicy oh, really? at all! Oh. <laughs> well... It wasn't that spicy though. Like, it was... <laughs> more like I didn't one, say one millions thousand. go though. That was pretty tame. You yeah, know? I see. Well, yeah, thousands go though. But it does have like a little bit of a zing, I feel. There is. Like a banana pepper. Banana peppers aren't spicy, but they can be to some people. It's like sweet, but like zesty, this song. It's not spicy. Oh, it's quite. It's it's smooth. It's smooth spicy. It's like it's you like know, ginger tea. It's not spicy. No, it's like it's like the Cadejo in the most recent lineup of hot ones. Yeah, it not wasn't as, like it like, wasn't like I'm dying spice, mm -hmm. but it was like mmm, mmm. You know, like yeah, like when you're like, when uh, you're uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> eating some wings and you're like mmm, uh, but it's not it's not like it's not like I need milk. It's like. I can take it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, can take it. You, you can fight through this. It's like a serrano chili versus habanero, which is like a ghost uh, pepper. Uh, that, that, that would be savage. I'd Wait, say. that's funny because when I reacted to the song, I had a serrano chili and like I died. <laughs> it's like really unique spiciness. Yeah, because the chorus repeats so many times, and then that that little interval repeats so many times too. And that makes it spicy. Yeah. Oh. Because that's like the first thing in the chorus. Mm -hmm. Da, 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 do, 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 do. Oh, <laughs> really spicy. Strange phenomenon, phenomenon, phenomenon. happening. Phenomenon. <laughs> 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 phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs>